Hey guys, welcome back to KP Videos. Today we're doing a blitz ball pitching tutorial. We're gonna have it split up fastballs and then off speed. The first pitch is the riser. So let's go. Okay, so for the riser, you kind of just want to throw it like a normal fastball, but you want to come over your head and give it a lot of backspin so that it rises up. The next pitch is the four seam. It's basically like a riser, but instead of coming over the top, come a little more of an arm angle. You kind of just want to throw it as straight as you can. It does move a little bit though. So this is the four seam. Okay guys, the next pitch is a two seam. You basically want to hold it the same, but more of a two thirds arm slot. You come across your body, and the more side spin you put on it, the more it moves. Okay, the next pitch is the cutter. I like to throw it with my middle finger, my thumb, and you throw it like a dart. You can also throw it with your pointer finger or thumb, or both if you like that better. But it's still a fastball, through, so you need to throw it hard and it should cut back in. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, the next pitch is a sinker. You want to put your knuckle, you want to put your nail on the ball like that and have your other finger like this. And when you throw it, you're going to flick your finger so that it sinks in. So sinker. <laughs> oh, that, oh my god. Okay, the next pitch is a screwball. You're gonna hold it like the other fastballs you've been throwing like this, but you wanna come across your body down here. You'll let it roll off your fingers as much as you can. And the more you exaggerate it, the better it is. So it curves more. Oh okay, okay, so you grip the ball with all five fingers like this. And then, and then you like wind up, and then you shot take put your it. arm back and like shot put it forward like that. But you kind of have to throw it at the same time. Yeah, you, you have to like. Mm, yeah. Show them. Okay. Okay, now we're moving on to the off speed. The first pitch is the curveball. You want to hold it with your fingers on the bottom. Make sure you grip more with your fingers so that when you throw it, you throw it over, that it spins more so that it curves down. Hey okay, guys, the next pitch is the 12 6 curve. You want to throw it with your fingers on top of each other like this. And you can hold it with two fingers or just your middle finger if you want to. You're gonna go like over your head and spin down on it. One, one. Oh my God. So the next pitch is the knuckle curve. What you wanna do Take your two knuckles and put them on the ball. Then you wrap the rest of your fingers around. And when you throw it, you're gonna throw it about right here. And you're gonna pull down kind of, but also kind of throw it like a fastball. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, the next pitch is the sidearm slider. Kind of want to throw it like a slur but like this you're gonna throw it sidearm and the more spin you put on it like this the more it slides this is also a very good pitch to use with a screw ball because they look exactly the same coming out of your arm but they go opposite direction okay guys the next pitch is the cutting curve you basically want to throw it like a cutter but you want to throw it slower and you kind of want to flick your wrist a little so it spins a little.
Okay guys, the next picture is the circle change. You throw it like a normal circle change, same grip, but when you throw it, you wanna come across your body and let it spin off these back fingers. Okay, the e fish, you just grip it, normal fastball, but you wanna throw it kind of up to where the ball will drop from up high and hit the strike zone. You literally just throw it up and it comes back down? Yep, but you gotta make sure you make it come back down at the right time to where it hits the strike. Yeah, you have to throw it kind of perfectly. Now this can either be the best pitch or the worst pitch. Yep, cause somebody might be like, boom, and new kick. Somebody might be like, boom, miss it. And our friend Grant has one of the best defenses you'll ever see. Yeah. Oh. So we actually forgot the knuckleball, but the way you hold it, you just hold it like a normal knuckleball kind of, but when you throw it, you throw it like at your chest and kind of sidearm, and it should just knuckle. watching KP videos guys see you next time